Hey, this is Carl, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Many of you know that I do a lot of videos on rotary tools and rotary tools accessories, and I've been wanting to do this one for a while. This is just an unboxing and showing what is in this Harbor Freight rotary tool kit it's made by Warrior. Accessory kit, 276 pieces. Now this sells at Harbor Freight for, if you don't use a coupon, I believe the normal price is right at $20. And one of the reasons why I've been wanting to do this is because, let me get this knife out of here. I want to do a comparison test between the Harbor Freight Warriors and the Walmart Hyper Tough. We're going to do a comparison test on these, but that's going to be in a different video. Here we go. Here's the whatever that is. It's broken off. Wherever it came from. Let's open this thing up if I can. It still has the uh, zip tie on it, so I'm going to have to cut that off. Right here. Let's just get in here like this and there we go. Nope, that didn't do it. Let's do that. Try that again. Little bitty zip tie on there. There we go. So this should slide open, and this should open up. 276 pieces. Let me zoom the camera out just a little bit so we can get everything in one shot. Let me uh, take off this little jacket here. Okay, the bits are stored, as you can see, on the lid and on the tray itself. And it has this little plastic piece holding everything into place. Let's start with this side, the lid. I'm going to turn it right here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to move this like this so we can see everything. Let's start right here. We have a We have a brass wire brush. Put that right here for the time being. Let's see, we have a, the brass wire brush. And of course it doesn't want to go back into its housing. We have a steel wire brush. A round nylon brush. We have another nylon brush with a different shape. We have another steel brush. Another steel brush. And nylon brush. Okay, we have the screw mandrel, which holds these, not those, it holds the uh, polishing bits, such as this. So I'm just going to go ahead and sh show you that screws into any of there, and this is the, the bullet shaped polishing pad. Let's put that back into here. Go ahead and take this off and we'll put this back in later. We have the mandrel that holds the sanding pads. It holds these this type of um, 
grinders, sharpeners, and it ho also holds these. I can get one of these out. These cutting discs. Okay, we have two of those. This is a drill bit. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drill bits. We have one, two, three, four, five, six rubber polishing, grinding, engraving bits. Come on, camera, focus in. Okay, we have the sanding drum mandrels. We have three of those. And we have this, which is also rubber, but it's flat on one end. And this holds the sticky back sanding disc. We have right here, right this way. Start here, we have take this off of here like I did the other ones. I'm going to come back later after the video and put all these back on in the correct position. We have starting right here diamond grinding sharpening burrs. We have one, two, three, four of those. Now the, the round ones, one, two. The straight ones, one, two. Let's just gonna say total we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Zoom back out just a little bit. Whoops. Grinding polish not grinding sharpening stones. One, two, three, four of the gray ones. One, two, three, four, five, six of the brown ones. If I remember correctly, these are silica oxide. And these, I can't remember what they're called. But they're a little bit rougher than the brown ones. Okay, let's go this way right here. Let me zoom out just a little bit. turn that around. Zoom out just a hair a bit more. There we go. Each of the sides we have sanding pads or sanding drums which fit on the sanding mandrels that I showed you earlier. So we have three different sizes right here. The small ones, the large ones, and the medium size. Okay, that's on both ends. We have two diamond plated discs for cutting glass, tile, that kind of stuff. We have a dressing stone. Now most people never realize what these are for, and I do have a video showing what these are for. And an example is if you have one of these and you want to uh, either, if it comes coated with the, with the item that you're uh, engraving, such as aluminum, you can use this to clean out the sanding drum, engraving drum, whatever you want to call it, or you can use it to reshape the design on this. I encourage you to check out that video. Very informative. That fits right into there. We have these pink let's see six of these for 
grinding, polish, not polishing, grinding, sharpening, whatever you need to do with them. And they're supposed to sit right into here, but unfortunately, the uh, case is cracked. So it's not going to hold them into place right now. Let's see if I can get all those set back into here. Oh, I'll do that off camera. I'll come back to that. Okay, now we have one, two, three, four, six of the white ones. And we also have six of the gray ones. This is the uh, bullet polishing accessory that we looked at earlier. That's supposed to fit down into there. We all know that these things never go back like they come out. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six of this size shape of polishing pads. Let's see if I can get one of these out. Let's try this. Let me get my knife right here. There we go. Got six of these. We have two at this shape. Just want to go down in there. And right here we have this bucket of green wax polish. That's for your polishing to use with these pads. Okay, right here we have cutting disc. These two mandrels right here, not that one, but these two. You take off this little screw on the end and attach this for your cutoff disc. Let's see here. Okay, we're going to put that back into there. What do we have on this one? We have some sanding disc, and these are not the sticky back ones. So these will also go on the, the same mandrel I just showed you that holds those grinding discs. There's probably, I don't know, 50 of these in there. Just guessing. And this one should be the paperbacked or sticky back. Yes. There we go. That goes on to this one. So we just peel the sticker off the back and place that on there so you can do your sanding. That's a, that's a great accessory. Okay, back up here we have the three extra collets, different sizes. Most of these accessories will take the one eighth inch size. Let's see. These are, get all three of these out. Okay, this is the smallest, which will hold the drill bits. This is the medium size, and this is the largest to hold a majority of your bits. So let's just put these right here for the time being. And we have two more wheels right here just like these gray ones so we have eight of those and we have the wrench oh there we go which has the screwdriver tip on the end which goes to the mandrels to tighten it down so 
like I said, this is just an introduction to this kit right here. Let's see if I can get that back on there. There we go. Just an introduction to this kit, and it's, I believe I said it's around $20 at your local Harbor Freight. It is a good value for this kit with all these pieces. And we're going to see later on how good these hold up. So, if you need a set of bits, go check this out. And I would appreciate it if you stay tuned. Hit the thumbs up and hit the bell so you'll find out when I do the comparison test with the Hyper Tough right here. We're going to go head to head. We're going to do the... The wire brush, see which one lasts longer. The sanding drums, you know, just a normal Friday night smackdown. Stay tuned for that. I do appreciate you spending your time with us. Thanks for watching.